Hey guys, welcome to Proud Animator. In this video, I'm going to show you guys the step-by-step -step breakdown of how I made this cross three app explainer animation project from beginning to the end. And by the end of this video, I will also refer all the tutorials and provide the links for the techniques I used in this video. At the beginning of any project, I do some research on the topic and then pick up my sketchbook and do some basic rough sketches to put all the ideas on paper. I also did some research on grocery delivery app UIs and then jumped into Adobe Illustrator and started making the basic shapes. So in Adobe Illustrator, I first started with the UI design and designed the elements required for the UI. So in this case, I need some grocery item. I also reused some of the elements from my previous projects and side by side I picked some color palettes from Adobe Color and Pinterest and tried out different color combinations. Now once I am finalized with the color theme for the animation, I started working on the other frames. So here are the illustration I would need for this explainer animation project. Then I separated the layers as per my requirement to prepare the file for animation in After Effects. Now let's check out the After Effects workflow in this project. So the animation starts with the mobile close of view, opens up a grocery app and swipes to navigate the product, then selects the product, place the order, then the scene cuts to the next frame where the item is being packed to get it ready for delivery. Then again it cuts to the next scene where the delivery boy is on the way to deliver the product. So this is the overall idea of this project. Now let me show you my animation workflow in After Effects. In After Effects, I started animating the first frame. So here, in the close-up view of the hand shot, I changed the perspective of the hand when the character is picking up the phone and bringing it closer to the camera. So I scaled up the hand layer when the character is moving the hand closer to camera and adjusted the shape path of the forearm layer accordingly. To animate the hands, here I used rotation property to bring the hands in the scene and rotated the individual fingers joints to animate the finger tap and swipe. Here I could have used twig structures to rig the finger, but I wanted to add some follow through later on, so I animated it manually. I also distorted the tip of the finger with pen tool to add some extra follow through. So I added three pins and converted the pins into bone layers and then parented these layers. Then to add perspective on UI here I oriented the UI composition in 3D and then animated the UI elements with basic scale position and opacity property on these layers. And then animated the lines with trim path. To animate the swipe, I made a long list of UI elements in Y axis and then pre comp the elements and then applied track mat and animated the comp in Y axis. To transition from frame 1 to frame 2, I added a match cut. To make the match cut continuous, I used the motion of the hand and table and the box to make the scene transition continuous. Then in the frame 2, I animated the crossy item only on the Y axis. And, the and for the motion graph, I decrease the ease at the end so that it looks like it is falling under gravity. And also added some extra rotation on these items while it is falling. To animate the packing, I converted the top portion of the box in 3D and then added rotation and adjusted the shape path of these layers. Now after the box is packed, I moved the box in X axis and then I added a match cut again to the delivery boy frame where he is on his way to deliver the product. In this scene, I rigged the character with Twig Basil plugin. I used Twig arm structures to rig the arm and leg structure layers to rig the leg. To destroy the body, I used pin tool and then converted the pin into bone layers with the help of the Twig Basil plugin again and then parented the layers. Then I animated the scooter in Y axis, so I used Position loop animation to add some vibration. Also added some rotation animation in a loop. Then I added rotation on the character's body, neck and head and offset the keyframes to add some follow through. And here is how it looks. Then I moved on with the background animation. So to animate the background elements, I used the position property and animated in a loop. I also added some parallax effect in the environment animation to add some dimension in the environment. So in the parallax effect, the elements that are closer to the camera will move faster compared to the 
elements that are far away from the camera. So basically the speed is going to decrease as much as it is going far away from the camera. Likewise I adjusted the speed of the background elements here similarly. So the plants in the foreground are moving the fastest, then the buildings are moving comparably slower and then the far away buildings are moving even slower. And here is the result. Then I moved on with the smoke animation. So to animate the smoke I picked a circle shape, animate the position and scale in a loop and then duplicate the shape multiple times, vary the motion path and the animation timing of the shapes to add some variation in the smoke. And here is how it looks. Okay, so these are the steps I used throughout the project and the clip is ready to render. So that is it for this video. I hope you learned a few important tips and tricks to help you in your projects. So if you want to learn how to animate motorcycle inside view with Twig based plugin then you can check out my other videos on character rigging where I explained it in full details. I will provide the link in the description or you can click on the i button on the top right corner to check out the tutorial. Now if you want to learn how to rig hands for UI animation then you can again check out my other videos on UI animation where I explained it in full details so I will provide the link in the description or you can click on the i button on the top right corner to check out the tutorial. And if you want to learn how to animate smoke in After Effects you can again click on the i button on the top right corner or I will provide the link in the description you can check out the tutorial. And if you want to learn how to animate 3D parallax effect in After Effects you can again click on the i button or I will be providing the link in the description you can check it from there as well. So that is it for this video. If you like the video then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the lesson then make sure to comment down. I would be happy to help you out. And if you are here for the first time make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all future updates. Until then goodbye.